welcome back. Thanks for watching. My name is Dr. Jeff, Director of Ear Care Specialists. Uh, so this patient attended having been referred from um, and by a local high street audiologist who couldn't get the wax out of the patient's ear. Their ear canals were too narrow uh, and the wax was just very impacted. So uh, I saw the patient. Um, now they actually had symptoms of jaw pain, neck pain, earache. So the wax was well and truly stuck in their ear. Um, but luckily after a few drops of oil um, and some shimming around, we managed to get it out of their ear relatively easy actually. Um, it helped being able to see with higher magnification under the microscope, which if you were using a typical head loop, you just simply wouldn't be able to see as well. Um, you see the colour change here of the wax um, as we use some sodium bicarb drops uh, as an intermediate within the appointment just to try and help soften and get things wiggling and moving about uh, and eventually we bring the wax and it's actually skin as well that comes out of the ear um, and the patient feels much better. So sometimes if it's a really hard ball of wax or skin, it can push um, against some of the adjacent structures within the uh, ear canal and um, the tempora mandibular joint, the jaw joint where the jaw bolts onto the skull uh, is in very close proximity to the outer um, ear canal. So that's probably what was happening here. Um, if the patient's jaw pain persisted beyond the removal of the wax, then they would be advised to go and see an ENT consultant. Thanks for watching. There's the money shot. And then we're just going back in for a final check of the ear, um, which I sometimes show on these videos, sometimes I don't. Um, I do like to go in with a video otoscope, so a different type of camera, just to have a good look around afterwards as well.